It is showtime. Oh, you're so nice and smiley. You just told me to smile. Well, good. So you, I'm you're, smiling. You're doing a great job. I'm like one of your puppets. Oh. -ho -ho. I'm like uh, Kermit. Kermit. Hermes, whatever. Don't get too uh, yeah. psychological on me. Well, I'm all excited now because my friend called me. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I have a friend. He called me five minutes I'm ago. happy for you that you have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? I have a friend, everybody. Yeah. Somebody called me to get, tell, ask me all if right. I was almost ready for my show. Right. It's amazing how that just lights you up and excites you. To have a friend? Well, to have a friend that calls you and wants to know when you if you're going on. <laughs> what? I can't hear you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. well, it, it puts me in a very good mood. To have a friend? To have a friend to call. Well, we don't get out much. That's our problem, right? Well, that's right? it. I just right. watched the whole uh, the whole football game. It is football, isn't it? <laughs> Actually, yeah. I don't watch it myself. Yeah, I did. I watched it. You watched it? Yes, uh, it was it was wonderful. Okay. I didn't quite understand everything that was happening. I wasn't very good in sports. No? No. You didn't play any sports in school? Well, I had a problem with bowling. B -b bowling with, with marking down, you had to mark it. You know, actually, right. you, Strikes and You spare. would fail your, your class if you didn't oh, get boy. that right. I could never figure out what a strike was or a, what's the other thing? A spare? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I wasn't really good at it. But I, I, always, I always feel bad for the person who loses. I, I felt bad for the other team. Well, you're I, very sensitive. Yeah, I was, yeah I That's felt, a nice trait to have. Yeah, I felt badly for them. You did? Well, they got knocked down. They were pushed. and Pushed? Yeah. But Tom Brady is big time. Big time. Yeah, nice guy. Yeah. Seems like a nice guy, yes. But it, it nice. was sad. I felt bad. Are we on? Yes, we're on. The, oh, okay. Hi, everybody. Right, let me start the show. Are we ready? Okay, start the show. Don't let me get in your way. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's that weekly time again. It's post Super Bowl time as well. It's party time in the carp house. What's up? So sit back and relax with some snacks and get ready for some, a whole lot of fun and excitement with the carp family show number 41. Wow. Yep. Uh, so without any further ado, permit me to introduce our band to you. The same gal, I changed my attitude to try to make it even better than the oh, last day we were together. It's all about your attitude. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Everything's about the attitude. It's all about your attitude? Yeah, actually, that was uh, that was chapter three in Gateway to Happiness. Okay. There's a book called Gateway to Happiness by Rabbi Pliskin. He said that uh, if you look at everything as, it, as if it is good for you, then you're always happy. Okay, that's a that's yeah. good. Oh, you yeah. like that? Uh, yeah. You you finally appreciate a little Torah? Like yeah. Oh, that comes from the Torah. Torah? Yeah, that's a Torah thing. Oh, okay. I didn't. Think you know, that. just since we're on the Torah no, thing here for a second, I want to just. Uh, uh, we hold, don't have to go there. Hold on, hold on. Let me just see. Uh, I came across this. Uh, 
I came across this. Um, I'm very much into uh, talk singing. I always talk think that we have, to, we have to, what do you convey the message of a lyric? You know, you have to. So sometimes why sing it? You know, sometimes people, I mean, you might even go so far, they use the song to show off their voice rather right. than their voice to show off the song. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So talk singing, you might think that um, I came across something on the internet and it, it really was uh, interesting. Uh, you might think that the first talk singer was Rex Harrison in... Uh, we're get, we have a Rex Harrison tune today we're going to do. Oh, I had never given it much thought, actually. No, you yeah, know. he talks saying oh, okay. things. But you might think it's him or uh, uh, Robert Preston, is it? Uh, from uh, who's in the um, Music Man? He was like a talk singer. But really, it was this gentleman here, uh, um, uh, Murray Kleinerman. Who did a dramatic? Uh, yes, uh, I seem to remember Murray. A, dr a dramatic, <laughs> dramatic uh, interpretation of Showboat. Mm. And without any further ado, I would like to present that to you, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, quiet on the set. We're going to do uh, Murray Kleinerman giving his uh, rendition of of one of the pieces from Showboat. Take one. There's an old man called the Mississippi. That's the old man I long to be. What does he care if the world's got troubles? What does he care if the land ain't free? <laughs> old man river, that old man river. He don't do nothing, he don't say nothing. He keeps rolling, he keeps rolling along. He don't plant taters. He don't plant cotton, and then that's plants them is soon forgotten. Old man liver, he keeps rolling along. You, me, we sweat, we strain, bodies aching, rack with pain. Tote that barge, lift that bell. You get a little drunk, you land in jail. I get weary, I'm sick of trying. I'm tired of living, and I'm scared of dying. But old man liver, he keeps rolling along. Nice. You like that? Yeah, there, that was Murray Kleinman. Yeah, but I changed Kleinman. the name. That was actually, uh, I forgot his name. I'll put it in the credits when I write up. the uh, Stan Daniels, he was a writer for the Mary Tyler Moore Show. So when I was doing the research on the Mary Tyler Moore Show for last week, so I came across this little bit, and I was wow, that's funny. It's not how you could take a you take a piece with a different accent, you can change the whole uh, meaning. Mm -hmm. So I got that done first. So now what you and me are gonna do? Uh, got a lot of little fun little tidbits here. Uh, some new props came too. Uh, oh, where are they? Yeah, they're, they're here. Oh, okay. I'll get to them. Well, I'm thinking when, that, when did they come? Get your mic. You're going to help me sing. Uh, we're I, gonna must, do the... I must have been sleeping because I don't remember. A delivery on Sunday? Yeah, you were busy. What, what did you tell them? It was an emergency? Oh, I don't remember when it was. Uh, I don't remember the delivery. But uh, All right, so now we're going to do this, um, the Partridge Family theme song, You and Me. Okay? Yeah, and where you is got it? it? It's right well, there. Well, I don't know. Where, where it says it? the Partridge Family theme song. You see it? Right oh, there. Okay. You got it in front of you? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to hold it like this. Yeah, all right. No, no problems. You ready? I really can't see it. Know. Maybe I take it a little, a little slower. Right there. Right. Hold on. Intro. Hello, world. There's a song that we're singing. Come on, get it. Can't we 
we do it again? You want to do it again? Yeah, I'd like to do it again. I mean, it's very uh, short. Oh, we only do things one time, unless we have a problem with something. But we that one was pretty oh, well done. Oh, there was done. no problem? Uh, did you see a problem? No, I not thought really. we did it pretty well. Kind of cute. You want to sing? So, actually, I got one other little t quick TV show theme. I got a little quick stuff here, and then okay, we're going to do some things. Where, where but, is that? Uh, you can uh, take a little pause for the cause. Let me just okay. do this one myself here. Uh, perfect. Uh, you guys will recognize this. I'm going to have to do it a little slowly, though, because it's a lot of words here. Our whole universe is in a hot, dense state, and then nearly 14 billion years ago, expansion started. Wait, the Earth began to cool, and the autotrophs began to get to drool. Neanderthal developed tools. We built, we built the wall, we built the pyramids. Math, science, history. Unraveling all, all the mysteries that all started with, all, all started with the Big Bang. Bang. Now, if I wanted to do one over, that's one I should probably do over, but. Uh, sounds like it. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> I tried my best. Well, it's okay. I, I'm trying yeah, to get. I have, it's a short piece, but it's got a lot of words in it. I Pat. have confidence in your ability. Well, thank you so much, there, mother. <laughs> I, I, and, and these people, they just, you know, they just love what uh, you do. So I was wondering, mother, did you happen to see the ball game that was uh, on the television this evening? Yes, I did. Uh, who are the teams playing? I heard it was the Pigskins. And the, uh, right. no, well, who no, was it? I know there was someone from Tampa, Tampa Bay. The Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers, I think. That yeah, might be, and then the other team that lost. Oh, and the other team that lost. Yes. Well, that's just uh, a sad amount of sad, yes. sad, sad, sad affairs yeah, there, Mother. Yes, I. Well, I'm and a then, loser. Well, I, I wished I had watched it, but I was unable. Oh, okay. Now, you want to sing something? Yeah, what do you have in mind for me? What do I have in mind for you? Do you want to do that, uh, want to try that beautiful thing that we, uh, which one? Uh, Christopher, uh, Christopher. Oh, we got a tribute to Christopher Plummer, who yes. uh, passed away. Um, so Yesterday, he was in, he was in The Sound of Music, and he sang, actually, Edelweiss. Very yes. beautiful song. I would like to do that. Is that before... It's E for Edelweiss, uh, quite before Q, mother. Okay. And we will do Edelweiss. that. Edelweiss. Let me just play around a little bit, give myself a little, uh, and I'm going to sing harmony. You'll sing one chorus and I'll sing the second chorus. I'm going to sing the actual harmony that the young child of the, the, the Von Tropp family, I think it was. He was uh, Captain Von Tropp, if I'm not mistaken. And, Von Tropp. Uh, Von Trapp, the Von Trapps, right?
Edelweiss. I think I asked you this. Was what does Edelweiss? Oh, I'm glad a, you it, asked. Yeah, what it is, is what named. Is it is. It is named after the. Uh, the song is named after the Edelweiss, a white flower found high in the Alps. It's called Leon Leontopodium Nivale. It was the. And by the way, this was the last song written by Oscar Hammerstein II, who died in August 1960. Hmm. It was written by Oscar Hammerstein II and wrote the lyrics and music by Richard Rogers in 1959. Hmm. It was for the for the um, Broadway show that starred Theodore Bickle, Bickle, Bickel, Bickel, Theodore Bickel, Theodore Bickel. Yes. And that was on Broadway. The Sound of Music, 1959. And is the correct pronunciation Edelweiss, not Edelweiss? I think it's Edelweiss. Okay. Edelweiss. All right, you've mm. answered all of my questions. All your burning questions. Yes, that my burning no. questions. Well, I'm so glad I could oblige you, Mother. Now, uh, how about, uh, I got one of my props in here. Let's see here. This is, uh, I'll play this theme song for you, and then uh, we'll, talk, <laughs> we'll talk about it at the end. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? I'll tell you. They'll let them figure it out, and then we'll see. Let's see here. Uh, <laughs> Your hats look like they're getting more expensive. Yeah? Yes. Let's see here. Okay. I need to have full concentration on this one. Please. Oh, you don't want me to look at you at well, all? Well, you can look at me. Just try not to no, move I, I, too I, much. No, I can't. That, that not moving is very difficult. <laughs> President Grant just uh, sent us a telegram. He wants us to be in Arkansas by four o'clock tomorrow morning. Please get Coleman and let's get this train on the on track. Oh, Jim, I got all kinds of devices and all kinds of things waiting for us. Now this is called the. Uh, this is when you're pandemic poor. You use the finger flick fresh face find, so I could change the entire character. Just by a finger flick. You see that? See what I did there? I just saved I saved a lot of money on a hat. Because I already wore a different color hat, I think. But uh, so that was the Wild Wild West. Le Mysteris Le Mysteris de la West, I think. Alright, so I worked hard on that one, but obviously not hard enough. <laughs> I had to get that one together. But uh I like Western hats, actually. This is a gambler's hat. This is, uh, but he wore a brim. I quit. I thought the brim was going to come a little more flat and a little closer to the head, but um, this is kind of the hat he wore. But it's a little, little too up here. I got, I got my um, Matt Dillon hat, Marshall Matt Dillon, coming in the mail. Oh, yeah. this is the first one you just yeah, got? Yeah, so if you see it, don't let them put it on the uh, grass. I didn't even know anybody came. Sure. How'd you know it was, it was... I happened to see it. Just... Oh. Okay. Okay, very nice. Also, I can get a lot of mileage out of that hat because I can do all the um, all the Barclays. Mostly wear that hat, I think. There's something close to it, similar to them. Maybe the uh, the rest of the Cartwrights. 
wore hats like that, except I can wear the Marshall Dillon hat for also Haas as the Cartwright. And uh, so I got, uh, there's like five shows there. I got uh, Bonanza, uh, Big Valley, Gunsmoke, Walker, Texas Ranger. And I might even throw in Blazing Saddles. Wow. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. coming, up and coming. It's Gene coming. Gene Wilder. Gene Wilder. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to sing? Just tell me. I lose, I lose control of myself. I, I don't know what to do. Yeah, After you finish doing one of your real impressions, oh. <laughs> I, I just, you have to tell me what to do then. Okay. Don't be jealous. Oh, I'm I, not, oh, I'm not jealous. I saw a little bit of a star is born. is not with, jealous. Yeah. I saw I, Star is Born. That's with the, yeah. now the first movie, there was a movie before, there was Barbara Streisand in one, and then uh, Lady Gaga and Brad, uh, Brad, uh, I, would like I can't to hear try. you, I, would I can't like hear you. Bradley I would, Cooper. I would like to try because of you. I, how am I supposed uh, to do it? I didn't even better. hear it. I didn't even hear it. It's really very simple. It's really not. There's some little nice changes in there. But oh, okay. If you want to try it, I'll fake it with you if you well, want. Well, I'll try it. Go ahead. You start. This was a song that Tony Bennett sang and many others, but I remember him. Didn't get to listen to it at all, so I don't know it. Very because of you, there's a song in my heart. Because of you, my romance had its start because of you the sun will shine the moon and stars will say they're mine forever and ever to part i i only live for your love and your kiss. Is that right? Close. It's paradise to be near you like this. Because of you, my life is now worthwhile. And I can smile because of you. Close? Close. I'll close. have to listen to it. Yeah. You got to give me a chance to do yeah, my yeah, research, you know. You'll you know? get it, I understand. I mean, I do my research and then I it's come not, back it's and... It's not fair to just throw something at you like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but... Yes. How about we sing that beautiful song? Um, okay, this is, uh, now, first of all, any of you that have any pets and ever looked into their eyes, uh, sometimes I look into Goldie's eyes, my little cat, and uh, he's not so little, he's a big guy, but, uh, and I, I think of this song from Dr. Doolittle. So we're going to, we'll try to do our rendition of... This is called When I Look in Your Eyes. Would this be in the back? Uh, w. Well, that's why I think WXYZ. Uh, is it there? To be a college there graduate. it is. There it is. You got ah, it. Found it. Okay. Whew, thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's try to make this nice and pretty. Okay. And ponder. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Gentle spark. 
purple of the stars in the skies when I look in your eyes in your eyes I see the deepness of the sea I see the deepness of the sings this song very beautiful and he um he's talking to a seal right and i believe i saw it on youtube i remember seeing the movie when i was a kid but i don't remember that scene but he took the seal i think he was sending it off maybe he nurtured it or something or, and the seal was talking to him yeah like during the take it was quite yes. quite intense so when you look at i would the have eyes, never thought that he was talking mean, i i just never would have made that connection, it sounds like a love song to me. Well, it is a love song. Well, that's why he says, too bad you're a seal, I think. Yes, at the end. Because he wished he found some person I, Whenever like that, I right? heard this through my life, yeah. I thought it was someone singing to a, a male, female. I heard some beautiful renditions. Of Andy is. Williams, I think, sang it. Um, I think Dinah Kroll sang it, too. It's very nice. Um, okay, let's, let's right. now get... Let's now get real. You want me to? How about I mix up my bond tunes with? Uh, uh, you can hit yourself in the nose now. Okay. I'm gonna do one bond tune and then you'll do something. I'll do another one. We'll we'll okay. do it back and forth because I got some right, heavy heavy pick, bond tunes. And I can pick whatever I want. Hopefully it'll be something I know if you know what's good of for course, you. Of course, Larry. I would never do something that you don't know. Right. All right. Let's try this one. This is uh, "Live and Let Die." by uh, Paul McCartney and Linda McCartney, and I believe Paul McCartney and Wings sang it. Wings, I think Wings did it with them. Um, for the movie Live and Let Die, James Bond, Roger Moore, 1973. I will try my best. <coughs>
and I, I don't know if Paul McCartney did this on purpose or whoever wrote this, but it went. I, I think that's Beethoven's fifth, right? Interesting, a great piece of music there. I tried to get to the whole thing there. I like that little section that I messed up, but uh, hold on a second. Uh, let me see here. I, I get it right there. Uh, It's hard to change all the patches too. I wanted to keep it on the piano, but uh, there's that little part there. Yeah. What does it matter to you? Does it in the job to do? You gotta, uh, you gotta do it well. You gotta get the umbrella high. Whatever. All right, so I messed that up. But go ahead. Okay, what do you got? I'm gonna do quiet nights. Quiet nights? Yes. Really. Because that's what I want to sing. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, quiet nights. Let's see here. Uh... Quiet stars, quiet chords from my guitar Floating on the silence that surrounds us Quiet thoughts and quiet dreams Quiet walks by quiet streams and a window looking on the mountains and the sea. How lovely. This is where I want to be. Here with you, so close to me. Until the final flicker of life's ember. This is where I want to be. 
This oh, is from, mu this is, now this is an interesting story. Music by George Martin, uh, copyright 1973. 73, how could that be the same year as the other Bond? Oh, maybe it's the same Bond. Uh, 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 yeah, Live and Let Die. Um, uh, it's, James Bond is Roger Moore. Hello, darling. Let's see here. Uh, and uh, now, in this, Baron Samidi is one of Kananga's henchmen who has ties to the voodoo occult, and that's Jeffrey Holder. Now, Jeffrey Holder did, used to do the 7-Up commercial. Remember the 7-Up commercial way back? He had that, that wild laugh. Ha, <laughs> But I also think, do you remember the Chiquita Banana? Oh, I know that. Chiquita Banana, and I've come to say, yeah. bananas are delicious and in every way. Well, you really know that one, huh? Well, it's Carmen Miranda. I, Carmen Miranda. What's another famous Carmen Miranda song? Quanta Le Gusta. Yeah, we did that, but there's another one after that. What else should, does she do there that's really memorable? That's the only one I remember. Okay. That's the only one I ever learned. All right, now this, uh, it's like a 6-8 type of thing here. It's 12-8 feel. Um, this, he's a voodoo kind of guy. You have to go see the movie. That's the one with the alligators or the crocodiles, and uh, they're attacking James Bond. Um, so this is a very interesting little piece. Uh, he does like a, a dance. There's all story here. I'll show you how it goes. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe you should wear a mask. No, that's okay. <laughs> That's Samidi for those of you who speak French, etc., etc. A performer for you wonderful people. Exciting music, huh? Come on, guys, clap. It's so lonely. <laughs> uh, the fingers, his fingers go so fast. Okay. Mm. What do you want to do next? Oh, oh, um, You're up. You're up. up. You are up, kid. <laughs> it's a just a me and a you, kid. Okay, can I do one of the songs I love to do? What's, which one's that? All of me. All of me? Yeah, I, sure. I need to wake up because I'm, I'm falling asleep. You're falling asleep? Yeah, I'm falling asleep. 
I mean, well, I resemble you know, that remark. Well, I'm not saying you're the reason I'm falling asleep, okay. but I'm getting a little tired. Oh, yeah. by the way, before you do all of me, yeah. I want to mention this. I'm <laughs> wearing this tie. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Everybody else can hear me. How can, not, oh, I'm no, wearing... Hold on, hold on. Let me explain something. On some television sets, if I'm loud and you're soft, it is a nerve-wracking thing for someone who has to change the volume. Really? Yeah, very uncomfortable. Okay, I apologize. Because I'm loud and then you're soft. So they, right. they turn you up and then they got to turn me down. Okay. That's why we got to stay at the right volume. All right. I think I, I do this I, for my health? No, I apologize. But you see this tie? This is Larry's tie. That's my tie? This is Larry's tie someone gave him for his bar mitzvah. Really? So let's see now. How old are you now, Larry? We don't um, talk about 55, it. 55. We get bar mitzvah at 13. Uh, that's so 30. I have had this tie. 32 years ago? Is that right? 32? No, no. no 42. Tried. 42 years? No. Yeah, I guess I've had it 42 years. 42 years? Yes. Well, I had no daughters, so I just managed to keep whatever belonged to me. <laughs> your jeans, your ties, and whatever else. Okay. okay. And whatever else I found behind people's beds. I kept for a while. All right.
Okay. I love that song. Next piece. Next piece. Yeah, from James Bond is entitled The Man with the Golden Gun. Oh, what happened with the one with the arm? The one with the arm? Isn't there a man with a golden arm? <sighs> I don't oh, think so, Mother. Oh, maybe I'm sorry. It's okay. okay. Right. Lyrics by Don Black, music by John Barry. Okay. Uh... Copyright 1974. Lulu, the artist Lulu, sang this song. Lulu's back in town. And it's from The Man with the Golden Gun. All right, let's get back to the man with the yeah, golden the gun. gun. The man with the golden gun. Let's see here. Uh, I'm going to try to sing this. Let's see here. Get my own concentrating, concentrating. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
call me? Did I call you? I would you, you go to the other room? No, we got a picnic I, somewhere or what? I just said mom. No, and then maybe sub, subliminally I must have <laughs> Listen, said that. why don't we do this one again? Please release me. Please release me? Yeah. You, you like that, that one, huh? Yeah, I like that song. Uh, can I look at it for a second? Sure. Didn't you make one for yourself? Please release me. Go. And then I take you up to uh, up to B, right? I don't remember, Larry. I just let's go straight ahead. Straight Modulation. song uh, Grease was on TV a couple of times. You know that one? Uh, uh, can you sing? Devoted to you, my dear mother. Okay. Now, next week we'll be Where? doing the uh, James Bond. Nobody Where? does it better. Where? I'm making my announcement. Where? Hopelessly devoted to you. Moonraker and for your eyes only. So don't miss that show. That's going to be some heavy stuff there. I tell you. Right. I can't find the Google thing. Hopelessly devoted to you. I can't find it. I gotta get it in order okay. to get the song. Let me see here. You know, let me see if I. Oh, wait a minute. You have it? Yes, I will. Let me see. Uh, Lyrics right, to guys. Hopelessly Devoted to You. Hopelessly Devoted. 
Sounded too well. Okay, Google. Lyrics to hopelessly devoted to you. No. I have to do this all the time now. Lyrics to hopelessly devoted to you. I got it. You got it? Okay. Um, give me one second. I had uh, transcribed this one. She's back doing something now. I saw her being interviewed. Olivia Newton-John, I don't know what. Are you going to be singing it with me? I would try, yeah. Okay. Shouldn't I? Well, no, I sure. would. No, really, that's it's good. a girl's tune, actually. That's okay. This might be a little too low for you. It's all right. Let's try it. You're used to singing on small, right? They put you in those terrible yes, keys right. and they jump octaves all over yeah, the place. I do, yes. You know, um, uh, try out to keep the music playing while I have it right in front of me let's try it I have the uh, lyrics. Well, I, I, I would have get to. the lyrics to that how do you keep the music playing this time let's nail now, it we're gonna get it just lyrics right lyrics to how do you keep the music playing yeah this is gonna be great I can feel it I'm gonna you I'm gonna really? do the trance and don't stop the song I'm gonna do the transposition well, I, I, too I, I, oh, oh I'm you gonna, want I'm gonna put it up a key yeah you're oh. gonna love it you're just gonna eat it up oh, okay you'll be writing home about this one I will. Yeah. I am home. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, it'll be a very short letter. I assume, <laughs> you're the only one I have. I have to write to. I'll write to your father. You get a little tempo while you're looking okay. at that. There. Let's see. Uh, I like that bass thing when Patty Weston does it. It's James Ingram. Right. 
that's one of the bass thing? Well, it goes into the bass. It's, I love it. It's yeah, a, yeah. one note, but forget so it. I'll try to talk you through it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe with, without the tempo, then I guess. Let's okay. See.
We've never done that, I think. We've never done that. We did a couple of times, but you stopped us halfway. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay, let me sing this next. This is a very hard song for you and I to sing together. Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm Why saying? Why is that? Oh, because well, we're... Well, because it's, it's really... Because like, we're know, too... Uh, we're hot, uh, because we're... Mother, what are we? Mother, we're mother and son. Oh, mother and son? Yeah, it doesn't have the same uh, same feeling that you would have if you were doing it with someone else. Okay. Someone, um, you know, that you were interested in. All righty. Well, isn't that nice? <laughs> All right. I want to... So, I, I'd like to do this... Want to do too. one more thing? What do you got there? Oh, well, I don't know. You know what I'm on time. Like. Uh, don't you do, uh, we, have we ever done Isn't She Lovely? Let's do Isn't She Lovely, Stevie Wonder. Get the lyrics to that one, I'll find us a key. Isn't she lovely? Okay. Now, actually, this is a song they were singing for a baby being born. Yeah. I don't know. That's what I. Yeah, on school, they do it. For that. Right? Yeah. Uh, too fast? No. Right here. That's nice. Let me get a little, let me get a little louder. Yeah. What was that verse with the Isha there? Is that someone else's? Her name else's? is Aisha. I oh, don't. Yeah. 
Asia. I, I don't know. Asia? Life is Asia, the meaning of her name. I don't know. Okay. Well, that was really very nice. Yes. What would you guys like to hear? That's... Huh. I... Uh, like anything else? Uh, any more songs up my sleeve? Uh... Well, you know I like to finish up with something I know because this takes a lot. I gotta look at the words, I gotta look at the... Uh... Yeah. It's, a, it's not easy. <laughs> huh. You give me a lot, a lot to do. Let me tell you something, uh, Sandra, my dearest darling. I tell you, I've, <laughs> I've been watching you week after week, and you are just so beautiful that I am planning to immortalize your beauty in some piece of artwork. I just uh, am not prepared today to do it, but. <laughs> Soon you are going to make me so happy we that I can... get out of here soon because uh, out of the house... Why is that? Okay. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'd like to finish up with this next song, With These Hands. With These Hands? Yeah. Well, I'm going to need the music. Oh, you know this. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, with These Hands. Uh, Okay, with these hands. Lyrics to with these hands. Lyrics to with these hands. Oh no. Oh, I love this song. You, you, you have, this I, is a this is a beautiful wedding can song. I, do you need it? Cause no, let, take this. Can I, I use I, that? I, yeah, definitely. I can't see it. So you have the lyrics? Yeah. Okay. It's a wedding song? It, it's a beautiful wedding song, yes. Okay. I think. It was sung as a song by Tom Jones.
out there for some what reason. What happened to the yeah, and the speaker went off. Oh. Couldn't get the uh, strings to come out. Okay. Well, we're done, I think. Yeah. You want to finish up with well, Let's try zippity do the last one last time there. I think oh, I, zippity do that. I think I got it down a little oh, better. Oh, you got you now learned yeah. zippity do. show is that what it is isn't that what it Are is spontaneous if we measure ourselves in that fashion <laughs> then the things we do could be a little bit more permitted okay her name was lola again no no, no i don't want to do it you don't again. want to do that again you got another uh barry metal song no no oh can't smile without we you. did that already why do we repeat ourselves do you think they remember exactly? They do, and I write it in, in the notes. Oh, in the notes. I'm trying to make this a very developing type show, you know what I'm okay. saying? Okay. So you got anything else, or that's it? I guess we should call it quits. We've been on for a long time, and they got to get to bed. You guys go to bed now. Don't stay up late. <laughs> well, at least we don't have any snow here. Good night, guys. <laughs>